<laughs> uh, we had a very active uh, couple of weeks. Uh, we stuck to our plan. Very tough decisions to make. Uh, the decision was to stay pat and continue to be at 500 and compete and, and uh, get no asset value mm -hmm. back for our UFAs. And the decision was made to uh, keep our core together and uh, keep uh, our eye on the ball as far as the future is concerned. Uh, added some, a great number of picks, added some young players, added a different variety of players, more skill, size, etc. cetera. Uh, got younger and uh, uh, really solidified our future as far as, uh, you know, uh, what the blueprint uh, calls for. Get rid of several defensemen. You just real, you're just so confident in this team's Well, we have a lot of assets defensemen. coming, you know, and LRB really stepped up, and O'Callaghan's come up and played very well, and, uh, uh, you know, we have good Branson and Petrovic as well coming, and we have Roback and uh, Caruso and... Uh, you know, we, we do have a lot of in Comrie, so we have a lot of depth, a lot of size, and a lot of uh, uh, ability on the back end coming. You know, they're not easy decisions. These are quality guys. They gave their all. They played hard. And I expect our guys to continue that. We're certainly not out of it, but, you know, I mean, we've got 20 games to go. We've got to win 15 games probably. You know, to be realistic, we have to get at least 90 points to make the playoffs, I think. So th that's why these decisions were made. They're not easy, but i got to keep my eye on the ball. The future is most important for us, draft choices and getting younger and better and, uh, and, uh, and uh, moving forward and doing what we did in the past that was successful. It's going to be a busy summer for you, right? Yeah, it's going to be a million dollars. Summer. we got lots of money to spend freed up for next year, and we got a lot of picks. Uh, you know, four-thirds, two seconds, and a first ten picks. Again, they had 13 last year, and I'm looking forward to getting a couple more at the draft. And, uh, you know, that's how you build a foundation. That's how you build a franchise in a hurry. We had 13 last year in the draft and did very well in that draft. And all our kids this year are having phenomenal years. And we look forward to having another successful draft and then being very aggressive in the free agent market this summer. So it's going to be hot and heavy here in July. A lot of fans would be shocked if Okun is still here, Dale. It was just no well, takers just, out there. Well, uh, you know, I think the combination of the salary... Uh, you know, and a lot of the moves were made two weeks prior and a week prior, and there's a, it seems to be a lot of goaltenders right now. Some young goaltenders have come up and, and really uh, taken the forefront in a lot of teams. So uh, we did have an offer very late in the day, but uh, it was too late, and it wasn't really an offer that we, we thought was worth doing. Is, is Thomas coming back something that you'd be interested in now, now that he's here? Well, no, yeah. I mean, we're going to look at everything that makes us a better team, and Thomas is... Uh, Intimated to me that he he would uh, love to stay in Florida, and so we'll have seriously look at it. And uh, but we're not going to discuss any contracts till after the season's over with anyone. The the Weidman deal surprised some people. Well, it surprised us too. It came out of nowhere. You know, it's just. Um, uh, but when you look at that deal, we get a lot. We get six assets for that deal from uh, trades and uh, draft picks and and accumulating other drafts at the draft. So. The uh, Wyvern deal? I'm sorry, I don't understand. It wasn't just one pick. Well, we got, ECHL we guy. got, uh, uh, we ended up getting uh, Bugstad, Basaraba, uh, Doxu, uh, two uh -huh. picks and two third round picks uh, this year, and uh, and a prospect oh, from last year. I got so, you. So, it was a surprise. It came to us today, just out of the blue. And uh, looking forward to trying to rebuild as well, and uh, frees up a lot of money for us mm -hmm. next. Summer to be aggressive in the free agent market. Berkfuss, uh, Berkfuss uh, looks like he, uh, he's a, good a nice young player. player he's a good yeah. young hockey player, yeah. He scored 20 goals in the league, and he's on pace to do it this year again as well. Good size, good athletic ability, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, can play all forward positions. He can play center or wing. So, uh, you know, we're excited about getting him as well. And can you talk a little bit about the guys that stuck? I mean, Stephen Weiss was I think we kept the core. We kept the core, and... What we preached about at the beginning of the year is, you, you know, people that earned it would stay. You know, we kept uh, the core in really in good in t intact with Booth and Weiss and uh, Reasoner. Uh, Reasoner and uh, obviously uh, uh, our young defenseman and Weaver played very well. So we've kept all the guys, a, a good solid core of guys. And now we're going to add some good young players to go with it uh, moving forward and uh, actually make some more moves in, in the off season with the additional picks that we have acquired and additional prospects that we have, uh, we have a lot of assets now that we can move to, to really help our team develop quickly. I, I know you have you guys have not even come close to talking about budget for next year, but there's a ton of money sitting there. Are you going to be able to, to spend past the, the floor? 
Well, uh, I, regardless of what it is, we had freed up a lot of money today that yeah. we can be very aggressive. Uh, we have a good chunk of money to spend, and we'll use it wisely to help this team and then add the young players as we go as well. You know, we're looking forward to adding a couple of our top prospects into the lineup as well. So we're going to be younger, bigger, faster, stronger, and, to, and, and that's the goal. Trades are over, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hope so. I'm going on that big, what's that, that, that big boat for a couple of months. <laughs> just, I'll see you at the draft. <laughs>